Hey guys, welcome back to the MFO today. And today I have another uh, whiteboard video because I uh, didn't really have time to put a PowerPoint together um, with this work I have. And because we're starting the week early because of situations. Um, get to that a little later. Time for the rankings. Not a huge surprise in the rankings. Um, basically the same as last week. Carson City 8, JT City 7, Summer City 6, Springfield 5, Everton 4, Newman 3, Oakwood and Krypton just switched spots. Uh, we didn't feel like Oakwood was worse than like Everton or Springfield. Um, but then for the games, um, yeah, so Mitchell is going out of town this weekend, so the Newman and Krypton hype game will be moved to Halloween afternoon at like 4 p.m. I thought about live streaming it, streaming it, but I don't think I am. I'm. I am, because that's typically just a creepful thing. Um. So Newman and Krypton, uh, Krypton is four and one overall against Newman, um. But these teams look like to be, uh, right now the early creepful favorites. If it's not, Krypton Lockwood, um. So Krypton opens up that game as a two and a half point favorite. That game is at Krypton. There's a chance of rain for the game on Halloween night or oh, afternoon, really. Next game, we have Oakwood and JT City. Oakwood is a 19.5 point favorite. This will be the first game back at JT City since the first two, no, since Creep Row 2. Um, East Mindbake beat Mindbake in that game. So, Oakwood own one in the city of JT City. So, interesting to keep an eye out for. Then we have Everton and Carson City. Um, Everton a 20-point favorite. You know why. It's Springfield and Summer City. Springfield is a 10-point favorite. Um, now I just want to talk. Newman only had 10 um, plays against JT City. Springfield only had 3. Um, and they still won by the biggest margins. Um, stats. One sec. Uh, I forgot to get the uh, stat book um, over here to begin. Okay, so we have our first game was uh, Creepleton and Oakwood. Creepleton won that game 29-24 um, in that game. Oakwood, um, Oakwood was 1-1, one for one, field goal wise. You know, I'm going to show it to you guys. You probably won't be able to read it, but... Heck with it. Oakwood won for one field goal. Uh, they ran for 102 touchdowns. Threw for 85 and one touchdown. Creepton only ran for 66 yards and one touchdown. They did throw for 165 and three touchdowns. Uh, on to the next game, which was Carson City and Springfield. Springfield led the... Li Springfield had the most rushing yards for the week with 110 on only two carries, both of them touchdowns. And they threw for 15 yards and touchdown. Carson City, 7 rushing yards. League was in a game. That game was called at halftime. Springfield won 20 to nothing. That was a 0, not a 6. Um, and now Newman and JT City. Newman ran the ball for 70 yards and 2 touchdowns. But they did throw the ball for 110 and 3 touchdowns. JT City was 0 for 3 on uh, field goals. They ran for 103 and one touchdown. They did not complete a pass in the first MFL game. And then the last game of the week, Everton and Summer City. Everton, two for three, kicking field goals. They ran for 96 yards and three touchdowns through for only 16 yards. Summer City had their only field goal blocked. They ran for 105 yards and two touchdowns. They only threw the ball for 15 yards and no touchdowns. So we have that, and then we have we have a big rule change here. You can only go for it on fourth down once in a game. The league office of Tao, Scott, and I decided that this evening um, to make it more realistic because we felt like um, you know team you know teams were basically going for it on every fourth down, so there was no stopping teams so now with only ones you have to be careful about when you go for it so 
you know, if that, we may, I think we may bump it up to two just to see how it works, but you have to be really cautious about that. Um, so it should cause for a whole lot more field goals and a whole lot more of punts. Um, but I seriously doubt we're going to see field goals from, you know, really um, teams kicking it from the other half of the field. Because with the way you have to run up and with how teams are blocking field goals now, I just honestly don't see that happening. So, we're going to see how that um, pans out. So, again, on Tuesday, probably the biggest game of the year so far, Newman and Creepton. Creepton playing in two big games early on. See how they will fail in those games. But, uh, yeah, Newman and Creepton, Halloween afternoon with a chance of rain uh get ready to see some pumpkins out there and jack yeah they have jack they have jack o land which is minecraft so uh get ready for that and uh yeah we will see you guys there bye